Hey, so uh, ever had a fantasy about twins? Well, mine's come true. And aren't these handsome devils? Yes, the Crimson Twins. Let's see how this tag team plays out up next. I'm Victor, this is PopCon, powered by Gen X. That's me. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My effort to fill that toy shelf with my favorite franchises made famous in the 1980s. Tonight, I finally get to fulfill that twin fantasy with these guys, Tomax and Zamot. Yes, Tomax's twin brother is his name backwards. But that's not the only thing interesting about these two. They are two of the newest G.I. Joe classified figures and a modern take on some very, very awesome characters from the 1980s G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Tomax and Zaymont were charismatic and mysterious, and although they could be found wearing this strange, unique battle gear, they were more often found as kind of handsome 80s businessmen. Am I right? Well, let's see if their rugged good looks have stood the rigors of time. We're gonna take a look at these villainous hotties and check under these strange codpiece cup things. I know you wanna watch. Number 44 in the line, Tomax. This is the brother with the right side hair part and the armor over his right shoulder. Now, Zaymont is number 45, and he's like a mirror image, even in his holster and the armor and the hair, except when it comes to the scar on his left cheek. The scar that has historically swapped sides and probably characters more than once in the inconsistency of the cartoon. Standard packaging with window box is the norm for these action figures and includes the awesome illustration on the back of so many of our favorite characters. Artwork by Valentina Reminar is as charismatic as the twins and shows off the dangerous dual personalities of the suave corporate executives and the leader of the Crimson Guard. Okay, it's really difficult to explain the bond these twins have. It's unique. So I'm going to let G.I. Joe themselves explain it to you a little bit better. So listen in. What? My brother's in trouble. How do you know? I know. You know those had easy. But now it's all getting real hard. Cobra's hired. Evil twin brothers. Leaders of the Crimson Guard. They're devil twins so much the same. If one's in trouble, the other feels pain. The Crimson Guard's the most dangerous foe. A G.I. Joe. Can G.I. Joe stop the Crimson Guard? Find out in Marvel Comics. Well, what did you think about those boxes? Actually, it's kind of fun to see that mirrored image of these two twins there. You know, I said, th these were cool characters. In the original 80s, Tomex and Zaymont were more like the corporate villains. You know, they ran big corporations, but they also were the Crimson Twins who had the Crimson Guard, and they were just kind of fantastic. And Marvel Comics even took them further. Now, it's time to open these bad boys, of course, because we want to get an, a really close-up look and take a review of the action figures themselves. Obviously, this is classified. They are no longer three and three-fourths, although you can get various versions of that. And since these guys are so almost identical, I'm only going to open one box, but we'll take a look at them um, together for sure. So, um, you know, G.I. Joe was a great cartoon. Yeah, yeah, everybody was seen jumping out of an airplane, uh, and you never saw them die, just uh, parachutes all the time, make sure that they were living. But there was plenty of violence, plenty of action, lots of shooting at people, plenty of kidnapping, uh, terrible plots around the world. So I've just opened uh, Zaymot here. Zaymod, of course, is the one with a scar, and uh, we'll get a close look. They do come with the same weapons, so we do see a nice, uh, a very powerful handgun as well. Two uh, cool daggers. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to... Scalloped. Scalloped. That is what that's called. Scalloped daggers. Looks like they have a magazine and maybe a silencer for their gun as well. So, if you haven't noticed yet, and we probably pointed out that they are reverse in everything, their costume as well as their part in their hair. So, um, what I do love about Classified is they do pop out really nice and easy. Ah! Uh, I didn't drop anything. That's pretty amazing right there. So here is Zaymont. Uh, beautiful already. You can tell by looking at this action figure there's a lot of love in here. This character is very well loved, very popular, and I had been waiting for that. Um, you know, and I had questioned, cons uh, considered not collecting G.I. Joe Classified anymore because Hasbro really sucks with that line, but I don't know. Just going to keep doing it because I love having them. So, well, let's get a close look at these guys up on Carousel. Here he is, it's Tomax, made with the same great care and detail as the others in this six inch line. They even have slightly different faces. We'll give a little close up in a minute so you can see. Tomax is the right side if you're trying to keep track. They seem right at home in this elite and unique armor that is both battle and, well, runway ready. And their daggers fit nicely in the sheaths, one on their hip and one on their leg. Tomax and Zaymon are members of Cobra, and they work under the hooded Cobra Commander, of course, fronting what looks to be legal operations with their businesses, wheeling, and dealing. 
Now Zaymon has joined the party. Can you tell the difference? Now I said they are twins and you saw how close they were that they could feel each other's pain, but that doesn't mean they'll get any of the battle wounds that the other does as shown here with Zaymon and his deep scar on his left cheek. And like I said, that scar, depending on cartoon or comic book, could often switch places or switch faces. Can't tell you how efficient or useful these cod pieces are, but I do know that even their mirror image is in the sheaths for their dagger. Now this is strange, out of all the G.I. Joe classified, this noise here? They're the only figures I know that have that popping, that ratcheting joint in their torso. Um, but they've got so much movement in their torso, I really do like that a lot. It seems like they're back and forth, the waist is tough, but the same great double knees, double elbows, the wrists, the um, ankles, everything moves really well. But let's not mix words. These things are hard to stand up. Even with solid feet, they just don't always stand up as well as you'd hope, but that's probably because they don't have any muscles. You know, they're they're plastic. They look gorgeous, posed for action. Now they do come with these, uh, these weapons, these firearms that have a silencer and magazine, but there's no place to put them on their body. So that's kind of a pain, but their daggers are great and they look good. Uh, you can see that they do have a hole, a plug in the back. That is to help put their armor and keep it in place. They don't come with backpacks like the others, but it's not like we're missing them or anything. Interesting twins with a close bond, but they still have different faces. Take a look. I want you to get a closer look a little bit about the sculpture. The molds on their faces are unique, which is cool, but I also wanted to share a little bit something else about these guys. Not only do they feel each other's pain, but they also finish each other's sentence and speak in unison. Yeah, I think they're cool, but they're also freaking annoying. Do you have any idea of all the man hours involved in financing, planning, and, and building, building a new Cobra R&R center? center? Why would we tell the Joes where we are located? Uh, are you noticing where the scar is? Yeah. I struck again. The twins debuted in Marvel Comics, but as they were in a real American hero cartoon, I want to show you what that looked like in the animation. We do know that sometimes the part and sometimes the scar were on the wrong face, but this is Tomax today. This is his action figure, his three and three fourth action figure of yesterday. So come a long way, baby. Now, here is his brother, the twin, Zaymod. It's funny because when you look again at the animation models, you see that it's completely the Tomax part of the armor. Uh, but the part is correct, so they had them in, uh, intertwined all over the place. But but the action figure of the 80s is consistent with this new G.I. Joe classified. You can compare the two. It's great to see this giant six-inch version, but there have been some others. Here's the original three and three-fourths. They came in a two-pack, had their file card together on the back. Um, so that was the only way to get them at the time. But over the years, there has been a 25th anniversary uh, figure as well. They've got really strange heads though. And so I really didn't like that look. I did own those, but I sold them because I didn't like their shape. I actually liked more of the original as well as of course, I love these. Now they've been depicted in so many ways, whether in comic or cartoon, like in the Renegades where they were more like, I don't know, Scientologists or well, occult leaders, which is a really unique take on them. But overall, the most famous is of course, the Crimson Twins from Real American Hero. And you know you're famous when you've got cosplayers. Uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you're going to run out and uh, get Tomax and Zaymon. Of course, you're going to never find them in a, in a toy aisle. Sad as that is, you're going to have to find them online. But they are worth it. They look awesome with the collection. So if you're collecting G.I. Joe, don't miss the Crimson Twins. So did you uh, like and subscribe? I really hope so, because that'll help my channel out. It'll get these shows out to a wider audience on YouTube. I'd appreciate the like and even a comment. So this is great. This is just part of PopCon. I hope you enjoyed looking at my action figures. I do open a lot of those toys that uh, are usually modern uh, modern takes on those franchises I loved in the 80s and grew up with and so and that I collect behind me but there's a lot of other content so you should check it out and don't miss this awesome show for the holiday season direct from PopCon take a look have some fun and uh, well we'll see you again so until next time